Hi everybody, it's Velvet1217, and yes, I'm vlogging. Um, I'm getting ready for bed, but I'd been really lazy about vlogging, and um, so I figured I would do a vlog <laughs> before I went to bed. Um, so I'm sorry, I know it's been a long time since I've updated, but I was kind of waiting and putting it off on purpose because of um, if you've seen my vlogs you know that while I was on round two I kind of experimented a little bit with the um, Atkins fat fast um, where I did the fat fast foods so um, and and it helped me break a stall so I used that and then I was worried because some of the people that had also done it were on P3 and having trouble stabilizing and um, Jenny Mathis is one of them and she had to jump back on uh, HCG and, and do VLCD um, anyway so I was worried and I kind of wanted to see how it would go and uh, it was going very well the first few days but I kind of was like well is this too good to be true um, you know I wanted to see if I was really stabilizing and how it was going so Anyway, i um, happy to report that so far, so good. Uh, first few days of P3, I was well under LDW, 2.6. I would go anywhere from 2.6 under to right at LDW. And then I introduced exercise. So since I introduced exercise, I've been at most 1.6, I think above LDW but not ever above the two pound mark which is totally different from the last P3 if you remember if you've watched my vlogs you know my last P3 was totally crazy I introduced way too many foods too fast and um, this P3 I I did introduce food slowly but not as slowly as I thought I was going to I mean the first day I introduced nuts, um, cream cheese, and eggs. And then the second day I introduced uh, regular cheese, and then since then, and, and pork, and other meats, and other veggies, and stuff like that. So um, I think the real difference is this time I have not used agave. Uh, agave syrup. I was using that the last P3, and that I think that's a factor because it has sugar in it. So, although it's low glycemic, it does have sugar. So anyway, um, let's see what else I think is different. Uh, well, I also discovered the almond butter that I'd been using. Um, had cane sugar in it and I can't remember if I used that kind on P3 last time but anyway I made sure I got the um, the kind that's just almonds I made I checked that really well so I guess I just been doing a job of checking my labels better also so that's probably making a difference as well on stabilization but anyway so that's what I have that's how it's been so far um, I'm pretty happy that I haven't had to do a steak day, and so far so good. So I have two more weeks of stabilization, and then I move into maintenance. So, uh, but I really enjoy P3. I enjoy the food. I really do thoroughly enjoy the food. I'm very comfortable in P3. So, what can I say? I I don't know. Um, I think the difference between me being able to stabilize and maybe others who did the fat fast experiment not being able to stabilize may have been that I went back to VLCD for a few days before getting off uh, the HCG. So maybe that made a difference. I don't know. I'm not sure. And our bodies are so different. You never know unless you try. Uh, so, and this is what this community is for. It's to share. Um, and I had something kind of exciting happen today. I met someone. I met this uh, 
really nice lady at the store. I went to shop for a new top for a graduation dinner that I'm going to this weekend. And I don't have very much in my closet that fits that great. So I went to shop for a top. And I uh, met her at the store. She was talking about how she lost 40 pounds. And I asked her how she did it. And she was mentioning how she did it. And then I told her I had also lost 40 pounds. And I told her about HCG. And she had heard of it before and was asking me how expensive it was. And I told her how I've done it on my own and about the whole YouTube and Facebook community. And uh, she was pretty excited to hear about it because the way she's been losing weight um, has worked, but she's been afraid of it uh, coming back, you know, get, gaining it back, and um, you know, and she's what kind of at a right now. She's at a at a stall in her weight loss, and she's wanting to push through that. And as you know, with HCG, it pushes us past those set points that our bodies have, and so right now. Uh, she's at that kind of set point and and uh, she's been wanting to push past it another 15 or 20 pounds so I told her about HCG and she's been emailing me I gave her my email and my YouTube name and I just want to say hi if she watches this vlog you know who you are uh, I won't share your first name or anything if you don't want me to <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say hi to you and it was great to meet you at the store and I wish you much success on your journey. And um, so there's a lot of people here that are so supportive. And of course, I immediately referred her to Mama Clock and Jenny Mathis because she wants to do sublingual. And anyway, I'm just uh, really excited to be sharing this protocol with other people because it's been, yes, quite a journey and very difficult at times but so worth it. Like I wouldn't take back one second of it. It's been so worth it. And you know, I, I used to not be able to picture myself past 145 and here I am, you know, and I'm, I can be wherever I picture myself to be with HCG. Um, that kind of sounded like a commercial, huh? I can picture myself anywhere I want to be with HCG. But anyway, I really can. If I want to get to 125, I can. If I want to get to 115, I probably can because I'm that short. I'm only 5'1". But, you know, it's up to me. How It's up to me to see how far HCG will take me. And, and I can get there. And it's possible, you know. And so it's just great to think of that. And I don't want to ramble on and on because I'm really tired. Have a crazy weekend ahead, but um, I hope all of y'all are doing well. I have been watching your vlogs. Happy releases to you guys on P2. Happy stabilization and maintenance for you uh, you guys that are doing that, and I love you all, and I wish y'all the best. Bye.